A team of faculty in the School of Public Health and I are doing research trying to look for coronavirus in various settings on campus. We're actually collecting air samples, we're also doing surface wipes, and we're sampling sewage as well. It's thought that sewage may be an early predictor of a potential coronavirus outbreak. Many researchers, of course, are looking at COVID-19 and this coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, and they're looking at it with various methods. So people are following infections and determining infection rates and transmission rates. There's been much less research actually looking for this novel coronavirus in the environment. When you do uh, analyses to look for viruses in the environment, you can look for just the presence of the virus. Was it ever there? And that's actually the type of research we're doing. Or you can look for viable virus, virus that might actually still be infectious. So that's a much more complicated proposition. We are not looking for um, viability, basically, but just looking for the presence of the virus. And so we expect to be able to detect virus up to several days after it may have been deposited in these various spaces. As a faculty member, I can't simply go crack open a manhole and take a sample. I need uh, assistance and access. So these uh, campus health and safety individuals have been incredibly helpful in getting us access and actually collecting those samples for us. So this is very much a, a team effort, both by the School of Public Health, but also by environmental health and safety on campus. Unfortunately, since the research has just begun, we don't have any results to share at this point, uh, but we are collecting data and hard at work to try to analyze these samples and determine what they show.